Brush-tailed rock wallabies went extinct in the Grampians here in 1999. The last known female was taken out and put into captivity. So through captive breeding we've bred um, rock wallabies up to a number where we're now reintroducing them back into the wild where they, where they once existed. I've been at the Adelaide Zoo for a long time and we've had, uh, we've had rock wallabies at the Adelaide Zoo, yellow-footed rock wallabies, for over 100 years. So we've got a little bit of an idea of how these guys tick. The main place where we actually do trap them is right along the bottom of the ridgeline in the rocky areas. They, they will move around down to the creek but you generally find them up high in amongst the rocks. Generally we start fairly early in the morning to check the traps. We come out here, uh, hopefully when it's starting to get light, um, we break up into groups and check each trap individually. We see if they're shut. If they are, you know, you'd be very quiet and walk up to them and bag the animals. We then take them back to a processing station where the vet is waiting for us and we process them there. What happens is that when we are monitoring these species to find out um, how well they're, or what their weight is for example and how well conditioned they are, what we do is we take blood samples as well um, because that can give us just a little bit extra information about what in fact is happening inside. Well the, the known population in Victoria we have the 10 here um, there's up to 20 in East Gippsland in the East Gippsland colony. Um, New South Wales has a bigger population than we do it's in the hundreds um, they don't know precisely how many and Queensland has a couple of thousand left in their population. So the captive breeding program um, started with animals that were taken out of the East Gippsland population and brought into captivity um, they use methods like cross-fostering to help um, progress the captive breeding to make it a lot quicker. Normally you only get about 1.6 animals per year, but with cross-fostering we can get them to cycle a second time within a year. I won't be happy until we've got a replicating colony in the Grampian somewhere and possibly even another one in the East Gippsland. So it's really a matter of trying to make sure that the captive animals are providing enough beasties for release until we can get a captive until we can get a colony going in the wild. Mm -hmm.